Okay. So now let's take on that second question, which is what's the best way to add tables or what's a plugin that would be good for adding tables to WordPress website? And so I have a table plugin that I've used a few times on client sites. I don't actually use it myself because I don't use tables very often. But I have a couple of clients who have needed tables, and I've used this with them quite successfully. It's fairly straightforward. And I'm going to install that on this categories website here, so we can just kind of see its operation briefly. So I'm going to come down here to plugins and add new, and we're going to search. And I believe this is WP tables reloaded. Yeah, WP table reloaded. So if we go ahead and install that, activate the plugin. The way this thing works then is that, okay, under tools, now I have WP table reloaded. If you select that, we can go ahead and press add a new table didn't occur to me that this might not work in WordPress 3.1, so bear with me if it doesn't. But we'll go ahead and hit Add a Table. And now you can just add stuff, right? We'll type this is a table example. And then this is another example table and then let's see let's just add one more row I need something else to say <laughs> okay and so there are our three rows in this table and we'll go ahead and add a couple of things we are going to sort column a ascending well actually if you walk through this you can see there's a whole bunch of controls you can add I'm just gonna very briefly update the changes and then the way you insert this table is by using this short code Essentially, all you do is you just, in this case, it's table ID equals 1, and there's our table ID right here. We take that, and we come over to a post or page, doesn't really matter what, and we edit, and we're just going to, just going to come right down here and post that there, hit update, we can go ahead and take a look at this post. And now you can see here's a table. The first row that we entered was the heading, and then you have the two other rows below that. We could have added a footer if we wanted. And you can see that these things can be sorted. Each of the table elements can be sorted with this little tab here. And while it's, it doesn't really work to, we don't really have time to talk about how to style this, Styling of it is actually really quite straightforward. So this is, a, I think, a, a, f a fairly useful plugin for doing tables. Do you have a follow-up question on that, Brian? Uh, yes, maybe. Um, that's perfect, Rick. What I'm unclear of, because I haven't yet made real sites for real people, what I'm uh, interested in now, but don't need to cover it now at the end of time, is what happens when the client wants to add a new line? Well, when the client wants to add a new line, they just come back over here to this table. So it's WP table reloaded under tools. And they can edit the table. And they can, here is a new line. If they update the changes, come back over here and refresh this, oh, here is a new line. Um, so does the client, you know, the, not me the site builder, 
but does the client see exactly the same um, page as I use when I'm creating it? Yes. Yes, they do. Right. So they'll, they, they will see this page here. You do have to tell them how to do this, obviously. In fact, I think for one client, I made a, a quick little video on how to do this. Now that I say that, I should go take a look and see if I've got that someplace. But obviously, this is quite a bit easier than creating a table in content. Right? If you were over here in that posts again and you wanted to add a table here, it's a whole lot easier to use that plugin than, say, creating a table from scratch inside of your content area. But nevertheless, it is a skill set that a client would have to acquire. Yes, yes. You copy? I do, yeah. Oh, fine. So the client, when they log into their site, they see the dashboard the same as I see the dashboard. Right. Right. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, thank you very much. no, thank you.